native call queuing. So this is a little bit of an older feature released with Communication Manager version 9, but I had all this equipment set up, so I figured why not make a video of how to do it. Uh, so the big thing here is in generations prior to version 9 of Communication Manager, we had your simple hunk groups. So I can make all my phones ring at the same time if I wanted to. I can do a round robin fashion, and that's about it. The other end, what they heard during that entire time was just ringing. So in version 9, we said, well, let's place that caller in an actual queue, and we can give them notifications while they're sitting in that queue. We can greet them and treat it a little bit more like uh, a call center. So to set this feature up, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to head on over to Communication Manager. We're going to go under Device Settings here, and we need to build a phone button template that's going to be for our telephones here that are going to have this feature on it. So you're going to want to go ahead and add a new phone button template for whatever phone you're going to set up the hunk group on. I've already done this for my 8845, so I'll show you guys what this looks like. And in here I have the first line. The first button is going to be a line. The second button is going to be a line. So the way that I have mine set up here is this is going to be their personal line. And then the second line here, that's going to be their hunk group line. Then I added in two other uh, lines here as well. So one's going to be Q statistics, and we'll show you guys what that looks like, but that's basically going to tell us how many calls are in queue, um, whether I'm in logged into the hunk group and on a call or not. I could take a look at my Q statistics. And the other one here is my hunk group logout, and this is the button that also logs you in. So go ahead and create this phone button template, save it, and then you're going to go over to your device that you created here and you're going to apply it to that phone. So I have Batman here that I created. We're going to set up a hunk group for Batman's phone with some queuing on it. In the phone here, you're going to go ahead and under phone button template, you're going to select your, your uh, template that you guys just created there. Now, to set up this feature, you could either start in call routing here and set up your hunt groups with uh, the line group, the hunt list, and the hunt pilot. Where I like to start is under music on hold because this is what basically drives what the other person hears as they're waiting in queue. So I'm going to go under media resources here at the top and then we're going to go right down to music on hold audio source. And you can see here there's a couple that, uh, that I have in here already. The first one here, the sample auto, audio source, this is one that's built in by default. Um, I created one for checking. My example is, is a banking application here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a new one so you guys can see what this looks like. You got to select your media stream um, number here. So we're just going to pick the next one in the line, three. And I am going to use an audio source here. Now I uploaded uh, a, a file here called instrumental. So it's just some instrumental music on hold music. And this portion here, this is what the caller is actually going to hear while they're sitting in the queue. So that's just your typical music on hold while they're, while they're waiting. You can select what they're listening to. Now if you scroll down a little bit here, this is kind of where it gets interesting because now I can select an initial announcement for them. So maybe I want to do a greeting. Maybe I want to say, thank you for calling. Someone will be with you momentarily. I can have that by clicking on that greeting sample. Then let's say, you know, while they're waiting in that queue, maybe after 30 seconds and this time interval is completely configured, I want to play another uh, announcement here. So I can go down here and say waiting queue sample. So first I'm going to greet them with this greeting that I have set up there. Then while they're waiting in queue, they're going to hear this music on hold. That's this portion up here. Then every 30 seconds, I am going to play this file here called waiting queue sample. And you guys will be able to hear this as we as we set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this here. Uh, we should probably put a name on it first. We'll call this loans audio. And we'll save it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our hunk group. So we're going to go up to the top and first thing we do is set up a line group. All right, and we're going to go ahead here and we're going to click add. So if you guys could take a look here, my example is going to be a banking example. Um, so I have checking and the next one we're going to make is a loans line group here. So we click add. 
Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to name the line group. So we'll just call it loans line group. Keep it simple. And we'll go here. Um, you, this, is, this is a good variable you guys could change to here. So ring no answer revision timeout. So if it's set at 10 seconds, that basically means each phone that we ring has 10 seconds in order to pick up that call. Sometimes that, that can be a little bit short, depending if, especially if these people are kind of multitasking and, and not just doing a hunk group as their main function. So you may want to make this maybe 15 seconds or 20 seconds or something like that. Then down, down after that, you have distribution algorithms. So this is where you can set, well, you know, I want the longest idle time. Maybe I want circular. Um, you could do a broadcast to it in a traditional hunk group. Um, we'll set it as the default here as the longest idle time. That usually works the best with, especially when we're starting to call queue uh, calls here. After that, we have our hunt option. So what happens if no one answers? Well, okay, let's just try the next person in in our hunt list here um, and then you have all your options underneath there we could stop hunting if, if everyone in my line group doesn't no one picks up I can go ahead and then you know try next member then I can go ahead and try the next hunt list if I want to here's all your options in there I can check this button here too so if maybe the first person that we ring doesn't pick up we could automatically log them out maybe they forgot to log out when they went to lunch to save time for the next caller when they call in, instead of having that phone ring again, we'll just automatically log them out of that hunk group. Uh, very popular option. And then you have some options here too. What happens if, if everyone's busy? What happens if no one's available? You know, those types of things can be configured right there. Now we'll need to go down below that and we'll need to add in the lines that are going to be partaking in this hunk group here. So we're going to select line 3002. This is a line that's on Batman's phone. And then I have 3003, which is a line that's on Superman's phone. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these two to my line group there. And we're going to hit save. Now we're going to go back up to the top here, route hunt again. And we're going to configure our hunt list. Again, I already have my checking one here. I'm going to add a new one for loans. Okay, so we're just going to go here and say loans hunt list. Hunt list for loans. Okay, select our communication manager group. I only have one in the system, so we're just going to select the default there. We're going to click to enable this. We're going to hit save. Now you're going to get this new section that pops up underneath it where I add my line group here. So I'll go ahead and add that. And now I can say add the line group for loans because that's what we just selected. And we'll say OK. Now you notice there too, I did have the option, uh, I do have the option of selecting multiple line groups if I wanted to. So I could say that loans is the primary group that should be answering these. But if everybody in loans is exhausted, Maybe I want to throw a secondary one in here that goes to checking and they kind of say, okay, well, you know, I'm not necessarily the, the loan person, but I can kind of help you out because everyone in loans is busy. That's that's definitely an option. You can put that in or you could have multiple multiple groups if you wanted to. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and click save here. Um, it's not fully set up yet, but we'll go ahead and reset it anyways, and we'll close it. And the last part to go to do here is back up to call routing your route hunt and we just need to do our hunt pilot and again I already have the 7001 in there that's for checking we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add 7002 now and that's gonna be set up for our loans description loans hunt pilot and we're gonna select our hunt list so we'll Check the loans hunt list right there. And then we're going to set an alerting name for it. And this is actually pretty nice that uh, this option's in here. So if I, if my phone or my line is a part of multiple hunt groups, now I can see what the person's calling in for because they hit this hunt pilot. It's going to show up as loans on my phone. If we were front ending this with um, something from Unity Connection and we wanted to play a greeting and then say press 1 for loans, press 2 for checking and have that distributed out, I can see that they pressed 1 for loans and it'll actually pop up on my phone that says, it'll tell them that it's, it's for loans. 
So make sure you make sure you set that uh, those those alerting names there. Then if we go underneath, this is where our call queuing comes into play. So we check the box and we select our music on hold stream. So loans audio. This is where all that stuff that we set up before happens. So now we're gonna you know cue the person. We're gonna play the music. We're gonna do all that for them. That's all based off of uh, that that loans audio source that we set up before. Maximum number of calls in the queue. The maximum is 100. I'm gonna leave it as the default here of 32. I have I only have two phones in here, so if we ever get up to beyond 32, that's a heck of a day in the call center. And then you have a couple of options here, what to do when the queue is full. Well, when the queue is full, I really don't want to disconnect the call. Maybe I'll transfer it to an operator instead. Okay. Then what happens if someone's in queue just for entirely too long? Well, you can set that over here too. What do you want to do? Let's again, maybe we route that to the operator. Maybe we route that to a voicemail box. You know, you can do whatever you want uh, with that. And then when no, uh, no one's logged into the queue, what do you want to do? Disconnect the call? Nope. Again, we'll send it to the operator and we'll, f we'll have the operator figure out where to go next. Okay, and that should be it for this. And now we'll save it and we'll, got, we'll show you guys a little bit of a demo here on, on how this actually works. So if we go over to our phone, the first things that we'll see here is I have a couple buttons. Exactly how I, how I talked about before, how we set this up. So I have my personal line, I have my hunt group line, I have my Q statistics, and if I press that, you can see that I am in the the hunt group for line 7002. Right now, there's no calls coming in. It's showing zero, and everything is good. Underneath that is my hunt group login, and this is how I log in and out of that 7002 hunt group that I'm a part of. If I press that button there, it logs you in. And you can tell by on this particular phone, this 8845 that I'm on, it's got the orange light that's right there. So that's how you log in, and that's how you log out. And again, remember, I set it so that if I maybe go to lunch and I forget to log out of the hunt group, if someone calls in, it'll automatically log me out of the hunt group. So for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to log back into that hunt group. Now, I am going to call into it so you guys can hear all the different options that we put together. Thank you for calling. Please wait while we transfer your call to the next available representative. Okay, now this is the first call coming in and you can see that it says for loans. Okay, now we have a call connected. Now you guys are gonna hear the next caller call in. And this Thank is you what for they calling. hear. Please wait while we transfer your call to the next available representative. So now you hear that whole music that I set up. And we'll just lower that. And after 30 seconds, then we're going to hear that, that greeting that we set up in there as well. And if I go back to my phone here and I look at my queue statistics, now you can see that there's one call waiting in queue here. And if I press update, It'll actually show me and it'll keep updating. And then maybe somebody else comes in the queue. Thank you for calling. Please wait while we transfer your call to the next available representative. All of our representatives and now, are assisting other callers at this time. let's take a look here and update it again. Now you see two calls in queue. And if my call ends, Again, I get the next one coming in, and it shows me that, too, this person's for loans. Now I can go ahead here, and I could answer this if I wanted to. And now we're, now we're called. Now we're connected, and then take a look at your queue statistics. There's only one call remaining in queue there. And, guys, that's it. Just very simple. Uh, pretty easy to set up these queuing, this queuing technology now that's, that's built into Communication Manager version 9. Um, I'm running version 11. But uh, it's been in there for a couple years, so you guys should be all set. Thanks a lot.